वेलकम टू तलीर दिस ए प्लेस कॉल बड दिस इज बडिंग फोर्थ फॉर ए न्यू लाइफ एंड वी आर कैपिटन्स वर्किंग फॉर द रिन्यूअल ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड द चर्च डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स इन जीसस क्राइस्ट वेलकम टू तलीर कैपिटन ऑनलाइन मिनिस्ट्रीज दिस इज थलीर लेंटन ऑनलाइन मैसेज टाइटल फोर्टी डेज फोर्टी ग्रेसिस दिस इज ऑफर्ड बाय ब्रदर दिलीप कुमार ए कैपिटन फ्रायर He continues with the biblical tradition of 40 days spent by Moses on Mount Sinai and Jesus in the desert. Similarly, these 40 days and 40 graces with rich scriptural reflections calls for a transformation. Brother Dilip Kumar is presently at the Friary Quartery in the formation of the major seminarians. He conducts retreats, gives motivational talks and sessions on counseling and psychology. Here comes Brother Dilip Kumar. Forty graces for forty days. Grace three, change of heart, the best expression of God. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, listen again to the first words we heard today from the first reading. Shout out, do not hold back. God tells Isaiah, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Announce to my people their rebellion. the rebellion is that they are fasting doing the religious things for their own interest and at the same time oppressing others they are fasting doing the religious things but it has not changed their lives they still quarrel fight and strike with a wicked fist such fasting god says will not let their voice to be heard on high This is not the fast God chooses. The fast referred to Isaiah 58:6 was supposed to bring God's people back to him in humility and repentance. But over time it became merely a ritual that people used to show their so-called observance of God's law. In reality, the people continued to act in ungodly ways. worship loses its favor when it becomes merely a ritual when we worship becomes just a ritual or when it becomes our main focus we end up majoring in minor things we must observe this lesser requirement without neglecting the most important requirement caring for others we must turn our focus from self centeredness to other centeredness the flavor is restored when we serve god by serving others serving others is the fast that god wants us to observe true fasting equals true blessing not just for us but for those we serve as well are we willing to make the sacrifice of fasting for spiritual freedom justice sharing our wealth with poor feeding the hungry and freeing the oppressed are god's requirements for a true fast fasting means more than just giving up food it means giving up some of our time and resources to do god's work in our world god placed righteousness in our heart through jesus christ and he wants that righteousness to show in our lives through godly obedience to him in calling us to obey him god calls us to fast in a way that will bring us back to god in humility repentance and true faith especially during lent if we do we will grow closer to god we have to be willing to obey his will when we do not obey his will we rebel against him by being focused on others we avoid being focused on ourselves and our problems for example some people suggest that serving others is a good way to cope with depression when we focus on others not only will god will nourish us and gives us strength to cope with our problems but he will also give us a special place in his heart god's heart earns to ease the plight on those who suffer 
he wants to use us as his arms and legs to ease their misery. God directs us to ease their plan. God wants us to do the work not with what we do not have, but with what we do have. He wants us to use what he has given us to do his work in our world. Dear friends, change of heart is the grace we have today. Change of heart is the best expression of God's dwelling in us. Our spiritual acts of mercy may mean nothing to us and others if our hearts are not converted. Let's express God through our lives today by having change of heart. Sanctify yourself and you will sanctify the society, says St. Francis of Assisi. Have a graceful day, dear friends.